fantastic. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's been blocking me. Normally, I don't like to be upstaged, but for this case, I'll allow it. It's the Gemini 444. This is coming to us from our friends at Convergent Design. These are the brains behind the Nano Flash. All right, so you know what you're getting is very, very high quality and variable bitrate encoding, right? So um, famously, with the Nano Flash, we could record up to 280 megabits per second. But it was only single link SDI, and it was only a 422 color space. What happens if you bought yourself an F3 from Midtown Video? And then you bought yourself the firmware upgrade that allows you a 2K dual link HDSDI 444 color space resolution. Well, you're going to need an external, res uh, an external recorder to do it. And the Nano Flash simply didn't, didn't cut it. So now we have the Gemini. All right? The Gemini is awesome, not just for the sexy case that it comes with, but a couple of the other features that comes with the Gemini really make it easy to use. So let's, uh, let's have the big unboxing moment, shall we? Here's my kit. All right, comes with. Very important, getting started manual. Uh, it, it gives you a list of what's in the box, what to do. One thing that's important, when you get your device, you will need to activate it. You will need to register on the internet, get yourself an activation code, and the first time you power this on, it won't work until you put that activation code in. If you need any help with that, after you buy your unit from Midtown Video, call Midtown Video, and our support guys will help you out. It comes with an awesome package of cables. Uh, BNC is for HDSDI. It comes with a four pin power supply cable. It comes with an HDMI to HDMI mini cable in case you want to view the output on a larger screen. We're only using HDSDI input on this. We're not messing around with any HDMI cameras, all right? It's very unlikely you would buy yourself a GoPro camera and try to record it on a Gemini 444. It just doesn't make sense. So you're HDSDI because you're playing in the big boy sense now, and you're going to be recording HDSDI single or dual link only. Very awesome stuff. Also comes with a little lens chamois, which I think is cool, and a stylus. Why a stylus? Because the Gemini 444 is all touch screen. All right, and when I say touch screen, I don't mean put your thumbprint on this. I mean use the beautiful built-in stylus that comes with the Gemini 444. Two solid state drive slots, one and two. All right, now you can't use just any solid state drive drive on the Gemini 444. You will need a, a, a convergent design branded solid state drive. They come in 512 gig and they come in 256 gig. Uh, the unit does not ship with a drive, so you will want to let Midtown Video know when you're placing your order if how many 512 gig drives you want and how many 256 gig drives you want. Now, you might be asking yourself, Jesse, how much time can I record on each drive? And I'm glad you asked that because we worked all day to prepare this sexy graphic just for you, entitled, How Much Time Can I Record on Each Drive? All right, so the answer, of course, is it depends. There are so many formats. In fact, we're not even covering every single format on this, uh, on this slide here, but let's just get down to the, to the nuts and bolts. 2K resolution, 444 color space, right? If you're shooting at 24P, you're going to get 21 minutes on the smaller drive. You're going to get 42 minutes on the bigger drive. So when you are maxing out your resolution, you are still getting just under 45 minutes on a 512 gig drive. This is not a case where you've got four minute magazines like in film. This is not a case where you've got to have unreasonably huge, burdensome hard drives like if you're shooting on a RED. You can throw all your RED stuff out now. Get yourself an F3. Get yourself an Alexa. Get yourself a camera from a manufacturer that might have spare parts available and service available for you. And now you can record that 444 2K stream on a badass recorder with a built-in touch panel LCD monitor. Pretty awesome. How much does all of this cost, you might ask? Well, we're going to get to that in a second. Because we mentioned solid state drives, but how are you going to get the info off of the solid state drive and onto your computer? Do you have to buy something else? No. No, you do not. It's included in this box. Check this out. This is a little transfer station. Transfer station. All right. You put your solid state drive in here. You insert your convergent design only branded solid state drive right into this device. On the, on the other side, you've got USB for power and eSATA. All right. Remember, this is not HDMI little boy toys. This is big boy toys. So we expect you to have an eSATA port on your computer. So you're on a Mac Pro with an internal eSATA card. You're on a MacBook Pro and you've got yourself an Express 34 to eSATA adapter. eSATA, okay, we're dealing with a lot of data here. Firewire's not going to cut it. Luckily, the transfer station's included. You eject your solid state drive from your Gemini 444, stick it into your transfer station. You power the transfer station with USB, right? Bus powered from your computer. And you take your data over the eSATA port. Pretty awesome. Which gets me back to my question, Jesse, how much does all of this cost? Well, 
Midtown Video has in stock right now Gemini 444 for $59.95, all right, just under $6,000. You will also have to buy a solid state drive. $1,349, right, so $1,350 for the 512 gig drive and 700 and something for the 256. But don't mess around with 256, get the big drive, man, get two or three of them, all right? Fantastic. If you guys have questions about the Gemini 444, um, as I mentioned, jtown.tv's chat room is protesting the SOPA you know, the legislation right now, so you can't chat them in right now. But do send us an email. Do give us a phone call. We'll be manning the phones all night. 305-669-1117. That's Midtown Video's phone number. Gemini 444 in stock. Don't mess around. Get the high bit rate stuff.